Taylor, corner three. Nothing but the bottom of the net. That's an ominous sign. Something like the last two plays, get a quick shot up. Took a bit longer on that play, but bang! Still goes through. Three points. Badish now to Taylor. Garvin. What a start. The Blues are four of four from the field. Um, Taylor Gilliam's toe didn't edge over. What a red hot start. Yeah, they've just been creating space really well, the Blues, to start off. Been finding that open shot really easily and find a way to close that gap, unfortunately. So Mahady gets the basket at the other end. Garbin step back. An ice cold uh, shooting from three, the Blues. I don't think their percentage has been too high this quarter. That was a nice shot. I think that was Le Pepe. Checking in for the Blues. Oh no, another, another one. Three. Two possession game leading into half time. Mahadi finishes at the rim. Laby. Skip pass, Garbin for three. Bounced around for a sec before finally falling in. Shot clock's down to five. Double team. Kick out. Long two. Just That's beat the buzzer. Great shot by McCowan to beat the shot clock. And they go inside. Hill finishes over the top of a dern. It's Geraldine Le Pepe coming up short. But again, a good foray inside. Just unable to convert. Oh, they've left Hill open. As the Bandits try and keep this one respectable, they fire from deep, and that is a beautiful looking stroke. With Beaven hitting from way downtown. Garbin, well, she's just checked back in, and she goes kapow! So again, Snell getting some more minutes into her little used bench players as we see a nice three ball. Certainly proving why she's one of the leading scorers in the league is McCowan. Never looked like missing. That was a sweet stroke. It was a fairly easy shot for Mahadi to hit. Garbin. No further words needed. Jeez. So it's a big 90-67 victory for the Powerade Frankston Blues.